to spend 72 hours in the world's hardest music festival in the world. Rampage, open air. Three days, it's already raining. I just made it here. It's cold and it's gonna be actually wet for the three days. So this is not the best weather. So the venue hasn't opened yet. So technically the festival hasn't started yet. But the pre-party already started because the people that camp here, they want to start partying since they wake up. So right behind me, you can find two stages, one of dubstep and one of drum and bass. Let's go check it out. Here's something that I learned in the last three years of filming festivals. You have to save up your energy. I get very excited in the first three hours of the festival. I go mainha because it's very exciting to be here. And then the next two days I have no energy and my back hurts and my leg hurts and everything hurts and you still have to keep on performing. You still have to go through the festival. So save your energy. Hey, hey, hello, hey, how are you hey. doing? Hello vlog, how are you feeling? Trying. You're I'm gonna feeling be excited. Opening, yeah, I'm, I'm like in, uh, in, what is it, like 30 minutes or yeah, so. <gasps> you see that tent? Yes. This is the last one and a half hours it's standing here. Uh, yeah, fuck <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You might be one of those persons that think that this is just noise. So let's try to understand. Why would people be drawn to such a hard style of music? Well, throughout this video, I asked the DJs that I encountered this same question. I, c I can tell you what it is for me. Yeah. Okay, really? I think the thing that people really like about this heavy type of music, today's live, it's so busy, right? You social media's here, you gotta, go, you gotta go to work. Oh, there's a guy right here who wants to, I'm getting attacked. Ah! <laughs> Being here with all the loud noises and the, and the, the busy stuff, it, it moves the, the focus, right? It moves it to from in your head to here. <laughs> Welcome back, my man. Oh, welcome welcome back. to Rampage hey. with the Fans. Drum and bass and dubstep are hardcore styles of music. It releases energy, it induces adrenaline, and what's not to love about that? Look at this, they gave me free sandwiches. I can eat. Usually I always forget there's a catering included with the crew when you work in a festival. So I always spend money for no reason, but this time I have sandwiches. And I can take as many as I want. Isn't this great? Sandwich is the best food in the world. These guys, NCT were the first people to ever say yes to me filming them in a festival. And if I'm nowadays filming for Rampage, it's actually thanks to them. <laughs> A bunch of DJs that I know are making it to the festival and it's so nice to see them. It's like, ah, oh, seeing friends that I haven't seen in a while. But they play music, so it's even cooler. Life is good. At this point, I was already warmed up. And if you're at Rampage, that means you have to get into a mosh pit. <laughs> Little check -up. My back already hurts. My legs already hurt. This is just the beginning. If you go to a festival, your body's gonna hurt. But it's gonna be worth it. Yes, that sounds good. This is one of my biggest problems. My job is to film a bunch of artists. The thing is, I don't know how they look. I don't know how their faces. I don't know most of their names. So it's a bit of guessing. And it's a bit stressful, to be honest, because you don't want to be rude. Dress up, take off, never take. It's a vibe, 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 it's a vib
But I got this. I got this. I can do three days. I think I can. Three, two, one. Because there's nothing better. Yeah. I love that you can randomly rave with people that you don't even know. <laughs> Because the night is here, the lights are better, the shows are better, so I'm more excited, so my energy just pop up to 100. And tomorrow, I'm gonna faint. It's time for some nasty techno. Ah, oh, he's so good. He's just too good. I love it. Ah. Uh, I used to feel tired. I'm not tired anymore, but it's gonna come back, I'm sure. I haven't been able to do one single interview. It sounds lame because I can access and talk to any artist I want, but you know, it's a bit intimidating to talk to them because you don't know them and they're busy talking to their friends and they don't really have time. It's a bit hard, but usually I manage, but today I couldn't do one single one, but it's all right. That's life. Tomorrow, I think I can manage at least one. <laughs> Made it alive. It's the end, we did it. Day one finished and I'm already so tired. And everything hurts from holding the camera, walking around. Oof, it's tough, but I can go sleep now. Yay. Good morning. Welcome to day two of this adventure. I'm feeling great. I managed to rest pretty well. I would say I'm at 85% of my energy left, which is good for the second day. My legs still hurt, my back still hurt, my neck still hurt. Not really good. Yesterday something very special happened to me. For the first time in my life I got recognized from my YouTube channel. It happened like five or six times that someone was like, hey, you're Felix from the vlogs. And I was like, yes, yeah, I feel like a star. I know it's easy to want that type of attention, but it's still a good step forward for my YouTube channel, you know? Many people told me that they enjoy these vlogs, that they enjoy these videos, and to see that someone that doesn't know me actually enjoys what I create, it's crazy. <laughs> no! So, so they, they broke the deck, they broke the deck. Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys, we're right now with AC13. Hey there. Yeah, I'll tell. Explain us, why are people drawn to such hard music? It's this kind of like carnal urge to feel like you're both, like everyone around you is involved in something that's technically not normal to listen to, but everyone comes together around it. I think, especially with dubstep and drum bass in general, it's this, like, it's this really hard to explain, but there's this carnal feeling that you, you feel like you can just let loose, enjoy something that's probably not meant to be enjoyed, and it just feels wrong but right at the same time. Okay, now we're gonna do some interviews for the rampage. Oh, the, the wind it's is so It's so strong. windy. We woke up in a tent and it was raining horrendously. And now as you can see, I'm about to get blown away. It's too, oh, it's too strong. my mouth. Ah! Just finished riding that with AC13. Oh my God, I, I felt like I was gonna puke because I was filming it and it's like watching your phone in the car. It felt like that. So I started to feel like I was gonna puke, but I didn't luckily. Status report. Okay, we're officially more or less halfway through the three day adventure that we have to go through. I am feeling energized, but my neck hurts for some reason, and I don't know why. But I'm having fun.
let me tell you, if you've never been under a windmill, they're so big! They're way bigger than they look. I can't even touch it, it's so big, it's so, it's so big. That's what she said! And they make a lot of noise, I didn't know that, but they do, they, they go so fast that it's like shh. Yeah, anyways, I got excited about the windmill. Don't ask me why, but I love marsh pits. <laughs> I think the reason people come here for this kind of hard music is just the energy behind it. It makes you move, it makes you dance, it makes you feel a certain way. And uh, just feel like only dubstep and drummer bass can do that. So that's why I love this music. That's why people come from all around the world to be a Rampage. <laughs> This is what life is all about, oh my god! Interacting with DJs, having parties, being in front of so many people! I, I have 100% energy right now, and soon I'm gonna crash! Alright guys, we're here with the legend. I don't know if you know guys, but this guy is the best 3D artist that ever existed in our generation! How do we get to such a life like yours? Such a life like I me. I don't know, like to achieve such a great talent like yours, buddy. First, you need to be surrounded by no, people no, 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 you no, really, no. really love. <laughs> Sorry from the Dirty Phoenix is definitely someone I want to be surrounded with. So yeah, surround with family. people, family, family. Family, family is a priority. Is. Yeah. Day number three, we just started right now. It's uh, two in the evening and we have many hours to go. I'm feeling great. Energy-wise, I'm more or less at 80%, so we're good. The problem is, I'm in pain. My neck hurts a bunch, my my back hurts a bunch from holding the camera because when you shot a bunch of uh, DJs, the thing is you have to wait for the drop, so sometimes you have your camera on top of people for like a minute, for two minutes, and then it's like, oh my god, I can't. And you have to do that the entire day, so my neck hurts. Also, well, I've been dancing a lot, so the head banging also doesn't help. Don't skip neck day, that will be my advice, I guess. At this point, I went around and asked the people how to survive such a hard festival. You wanna drink some beer? <laughs> stay some hydrated. Beer? Go hard or go home. You stay up really, really late. You get up really, really early. You do as much partying as you can. Yeah. And you just make sure you keep that adrenaline coming. Never and everything that. else takes care of itself. Yeah, the music will guide you. That's uh, it. Drink a lot of water. <laughs> sleep, sleep, sleep. Spare your voice. Your voice is important. <laughs> what about you? Loads of food. You're the DJ of this team and you're gonna say lots of food? Can you're fat. <laughs> Take a nap. I love dancing. That's love important. Dancing. Feeling. Well, I'm feeling like it's day three. <laughs> I can, I use... My voice, I left it in day two. <laughs> Give me the best advice to survive such a hard festival. Don't be like me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> <laughs> so many times I saw this pizza pasta thing. And I had to try it. Pizza. Hey. Yeah. It's way harder than it looks. What's up, guys? We're once again with whales in Rampage. I think because all of us are such calm people, there is doctors, lawyers, everybody, all kinds of people coming to these kind of festivals. And sometimes, you know, we all have this energy, this rage that want to come out, but we need to keep it tame and down when we are living our daily lives. So now is the best opportunity to come here, enjoy, get it out. Hand bang and wash bit and do all that crazy stuff and just get it out and get back home relaxed. Time for some lovey dovey gratefulness. Like I say in every video, if you would have told me 10 years ago that I would be at Rampage next to one of the biggest drum and bass DJs in the world raving together? Are you freaking kidding me? This life is unreal. I'm done. We have five more hours to go, and I'm so tired. I'm so tired that. I'm enjoying the music, but I can't feel it. It's weird. It's like I'm not really here anymore, but I'm still enjoying it. We're gonna survive! Yay! We're entering the 
last hour of the festival. I am completely dead. Everything hurts. Every part of me hurts. I can't take this anymore. I just want to sleep. I want to lay on a bed so I don't have to carry my neck. One last mosh pit for the road. hard on the pogos. I lost my watch. It was a Christmas gift. We did it. We officially finished 72 hours of madness. I'm exhausted. I think to finish this, I should answer why. Why are people drawn to such a hard style of music? For me, it's about the people. When you see the images, you might think that people are aggressive here, that they're all here to beat up each other. And in some way they are in the mosh pits. In four years of filming festivals, I can tell you, here are the nicest people ever. It's weird, they don't really match with the music, but in some way they do. They let out all their demons in the music and then they can hug each other afterwards. That's why you listen to this hard music. If you enjoyed this video, I'm pretty sure you're gonna enjoy this one. I'll see you later. Uh, I'm dead. Maybe I'll need one of those neck things, chokers. That's not what it's called.